Hey guys and welcome back. Today I am doing my May inspired makeup look even though I'm pretty sure this is coming out at the very end of May. It is May 25th? 26th today and I'm finally sitting down and filming this video. I try to get these out earlier in the month, but May just got away from me, so I'm filming it now. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you as always for watching, and let's just go ahead and get started. <laughs> to start off with applying some concealer. I've been really into minimal makeup lately so I normally just go in with concealer and no foundation or anything. My skin is getting very tanned so I have to kind of transition to some of my summer foundation shades but I just haven't really done that yet. Maybe in June when I set up my June makeup stash I'll probably switch over to some of my darker shades, but for now I'm just gonna use this concealer kind of in the center of my face and it's gonna work as both a concealer to cover up the redness on my face as well as a highlighter. Give my face some dimension shape because it is a little bit light for me. This is the L'Oreal Creamy Beige Radiant Concealer. Now that the concealer is on my face, I am gonna go in with my bronzer. I'm just gonna use my Rimmel bronzer as per usual. I'm gonna use it on the sides of my forehead as well as on like right underneath my cheekbones. And that in with these e.l.f. brushes. These uh, spoon brushes are from e.l.f. by the way. I really like them because they're very dense and I feel like they are really quick at blending out product on my skin. I'm then going to set my under eye area with my Rimmel powder. This is all my usual products that I use on like the daily, well, not the daily, but when I do wear makeup, these are the products that I normally use. Nothing has really changed in my makeup routine over the last couple months. I feel like I've been kind of in the same, doing the same stuff every time I sit down in front of my camera to film. Makeup has not been super inspiring to me lately. I hope to get more into kind of makeup looks and things like that in the summertime. I don't know, I just feel kind of not very enthusiastic about makeup these days. I like the fall and the winter is when I like makeup more and then in the spring and the summer I'm always kind of like I don't know, I'm not super enthused by makeup. For blush, I'm actually not using something that was part of my May makeup stash because I just got this. This is the Mini So Color Me Blusher and I don't think it has a shade name on it. Well, it says number six. I don't know if that's the shade. This is very soft pink. I was wearing it the other day to kind of try it out and I thought it's the most beautiful pink and I wanted to use it in a video, so. I'm going to apply this blush kind of all over the upper part of my cheek right up until my nose. I'm also gonna take whatever was left on that blush, on the brush, on my chin. Just sweep this upwards to my brows. I really love the super blushy look these days, as you guys probably know if you've been watching my recent makeup videos. So I like to go kind of heavy handed with my blush these days. So I'm gonna set my face with my setting spray. There's just a little bit left. It's from Maybelline. It's their lasting fix. And while that's kind of setting on my face, sorry, this is very zoomed up. It's probably not flattering. I'm gonna do my eyeshadow. So I'm gonna use the Sunrise palette from Folklore, which was my palette of the month. And I'm going to start by taking this brown shade right here, which is called Give Me Mocha. It's gonna just be my transition shade. I don't wanna do an intense look. I've just not been into heavy eyeshadow looks lately. So I'm just gonna lightly apply this transition shade kind of on my lid and a bit into my crease as well. And I'm also gonna take this one on the lower lash line too. Then I'm going to take the shade Chocolate Martini, which is kind of like a brown, like a reddish brown. I'm going to apply this one close to my lash line. 
smudge it in with this flat brush. These brushes with the mint handles, by the way, are from BH Cosmetics. I want to take a little bit of this chocolate martini shade on the lower lash line as well, but just on the outer corner. And then I'm going to go in with, I think I'm going to take Pinwheel Galaxy, which is this pinky glittery shade. I'm just going to use my finger. I'm going to apply this all over the lid. I love the glitter shades in this palette. I think I've talked about them so many times on my channel, but they're just so sparkly and glittery and beautiful. I really love how the glitter shades, like the glitters in them are not all the same size. I feel like that adds something special to the glitter. I think that's all I want to do. I don't want to do too much with the eyes today. I kind of got glitter all under my inner lash line here. I think that's all I want to do though. I don't want to go too crazy. So I'm going to just apply some mascara and then I will come back on. There's like a hair on my lip, but I'll come back on and we'll finish up Finish up the look with a lipstick. Okay, so for the lipstick, I'm gonna try this one, and if I don't like it, I'm gonna take it off, but it is the Milani Bold Matte Color Statement Lipstick in the shade I Am Smart. Uh, I think it's fine. I was debating between going for something that was more like deep because the eyes are pretty simple, but I actually think this one is fine. And that completes this makeup look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look. I know it was really fast, simple, but that's kind of what I've been into lately. I just like anything that is gonna be quick and easy for me to apply, but still kind of gives you a more like polished, put together look, I guess. I love this blush. I think this soft pinky blush is just beautiful. Again, that one was from Miniso. I love this eyeshadow palette and I really love it paired everything paired with this lipstick. So actually I'm quite happy with this makeup look right now, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you as always for watching. I'm so sorry that it's coming out so late in the month, but hopefully I will get my June inspired video out a bit sooner. Thank you guys as always for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Please subscribe if you'd like to see more videos and I'll see you in my next one.